Problem 23.1 asks us to find, uh, gives us the data, this data, and asks us to find the velocity and acceleration at t equals 10 seconds. So uh, t equals 10 seconds, that's right here. And we're supposed to use second order correct finite centered, or centered finite difference, forward finite difference, and backward finite difference methods. So the first thing then we're going to do is uh, the centered finite difference method. And um, we just need to note uh, that basically, uh, so it's asking velocity and acceleration. And so this will be the first derivative, uh, velocity will be the first derivative of uh, position. So that's f prime of x, or well, we should, probably shouldn't uh, shouldn't call it. Yeah, we'll just call it f prime of x because uh, that's it's actually f prime of t, right? F prime of x, um, and then acceleration will be uh, f double prime. Okay. So um, this is our xi is is ten, uh, and uh, okay, so the first thing that we have to do is we have to look up the formulas. And we just look up these formulas, the center and finite difference formulas in the, t in the tables in the book. And these are on page, let's flip to them really quick, page 654 and 655. And on page 655, they have the centered uh, divided difference methods. And the first thing we're going to notice is uh, for this, we're going to use uh, one point before and one point after, and we actually don't even have to use the point in the middle. Uh, we say because we have f at x i plus one, so that'll be seven point three, and minus f at x i minus one, so that'll be five point one, all divided by two h, and h in this case it looks like ten to twelve, so h is two, and so all divided by two times two, so we get an approximation of uh, uh, point five five zero zero and we need to uh, include our units on here and so that's uh, uh, meters per second it's a velocity so it's meters per second um, now we can do the same thing with the second derivative and uh, this, if we look in look in the table again uh, the the uh, h squared the, the accurate um, second derivative method is, is just the first one listed and it says f at I, x i plus one minus two f at x i uh, plus f at x i minus one. And so uh, we have to use again only uh, we 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 have to look one point before, uh, one point after, and we have to actually use this point in the middle this time. And so we we have uh, two times six point three, uh, seven point three. That's the one before minus 2 times 6.3 plus 5.1 over 2 squared and that gives us uh, minus 0 0.05 uh, meters per second squared. Um, we are, those are our units on that. So uh, and then we can move on to the forward uh, finite divided difference. So for the forward finite divided difference we uh, look at the derivative for the the first derivative uh, formula that's that's accurate uh, to the um, to order h squared, uh, which is what they're looking for. And um, so this is uh, figure 23.1. And if we look on there, we see uh, that we actually uh, have to include um, more points. Let's see, we have to include uh, first derivative, yes, uh, minus f at x i plus 2 plus 4 f uh, at x i plus 1 minus 3 f at x i. See, whereas before we only had to use two points, now we have to use three points to get the same accuracy, uh, all divided by 2 h. And so that'll be minus 8 plus 4 times 7.3 minus 3 times uh, 6.3. Again, looking, we're going forward. So that's, uh, that's 6.3, uh, 7.3, and uh, 8.0. All right. Okay. Uh, so uh, for the next one, uh, we have the second derivative. Uh, okay. So that that resulted point uh, five seven five uh, zero. And if we compare that to our previous value that we got point five five, uh, that's that's in the same ballpark. Uh, given that our step size is huge, our step size is two, right? So so that's uh, that seems reasonable. Uh, and 
Okay, so our second derivative, the, the equation for the second derivative, we again, it has to be second order accurate, or whatever, sorry, um, excuse me, it has to be um, accurate to uh, h squared. So uh, that's the second formula they list there. Uh, let's see, uh, minus f, yeah, it's just right here, minus f x i plus 3 plus 4 f at x i plus 2 minus 5 x i plus 1 uh, plus 2 f at x i. And so again, looking at that, we're going to have it 8.4 plus 4 times 8 uh, minus 5 times 7.3 plus 2 times uh, 6.3. And you can see that those are all from the 10 uh, onward. I'll switch colors here. From the 10 onward. So these are the values since we're going forward from it. These are the values that we're using. Uh, in this approximation, we're only going forward, whereas before, when we did center, we went in both in both directions. And so, 8.4, 8.0, 7.3, 6.3. Okay, those look right. And so then we get minus uh, 0.75 meters squared uh, for the the second derivative. Okay, again, uh, now part three. Uh, it's the same same routine, but we're doing backward finite divided difference. And again, similar to the forward finite divided difference for uh, for the, the first derivative, we have to use three points to get the accuracy that we need. So we're going to go uh, the point that we're interested in plus the point before and, and two points before. So that's uh, three times f at xi minus four times uh, xi minus one plus f at xi minus two. And so we can go look up here again as well. And we see... All right, so that then is going to be these three points here. Those are the ones that we're going to be working with now. So 6.3, 5.1, and 3.4. And you see 6.3, 5.1, and 3.4 divided by 2 times 2. So we get uh, 0.475 meters per second. Uh, for the second derivative formula, we have 2 times f at xi minus 5 times x, f of xi minus 1 plus 4 times f of xi uh, minus 2 minus f of xi minus 3 over h squared. Uh, so again, uh, if we look, we're using the point, the point before, uh, two points before, and uh, three points before. And just so we got 1.8 there, 4 times 3.4, 5 times 5.1, 2 times 6.3, and we come out with a minus uh, 0 0.275 uh, meters per second squared if I did my math right. So um, that is, um, and, and see, that was going all the way uh, to here that time. And so uh, that's, that's the method. You can see that we would have run into trouble. Uh, if we hadn't had enough points, if we hadn't had this this last point, uh, we wouldn't be able to do it. And it, it turns out they, they gave us a little bit of data that we didn't actually need. Now, I, I know they didn't ask us to do it, but uh, what I want to do here is I want to actually go into MATLAB and plot it out and see if these values look feasible given the data that we've, uh, that we've received. So our x values, come on, let's get here. x values are going to go from... A zero uh, by twos uh, to 16, and our y values are going to go from well, it was just t and x, but we can go x and y. Where y values are going to be uh, zero, 0 0.7, 1.8, uh, 3.4, uh, 5.1, 6.3, 7.3, uh, 8. 0 0.0, uh, 8.4, if I type that in right, all right, so then it'll plot, plot x, y, plot, hang on, x, y, 0 0.7, 1, oh, we got 1.8, x3 equals, well, let's just redo x, x, oh no, we, uh, uh, we messed up our y, this said to be a 1.8, alright, now let's try this, now, plot x, y, okay, 
So uh, this is our uh, trajectory that we have, and we can say plot x, y, r, r star, for example. Oops. Hold on plot x, y. OK, so uh, this is the, the trajectory that we have. And oh, I'm sorry, I forgot that you didn't uh, couldn't see this as well as I can. Uh -huh. There we go. And so this is the the trajectory that we got, and we can label it. We could just go x label um, uh, time and seconds, and then y label. Uh, uh, position meters and that gives us our labels and um, then um, you know then we've just we've just got our our, our values and and to see let's see our our first derivative uh, it's positive and at, at point 10 so this is the point that we care about at point 10, our first derivative is definitely positive, uh, so it's sloped upward. Our second derivative, it looks like we've got uh, concave down, and it's not very, not very, not very concave. It's fairly flat, so it looks like our second derivative, we got uh, concave down. Our first derivative is is sloping upward, and so if we go back and check all of our values, uh, our first derivative was positive, and it was it was increasing, so that looks good. And then our second derivative tended to be small and and slightly negative. And so uh, these go right along uh, with uh, the graphic uh, that we generated. So uh, I think that looks good.